Because of DeSantis, I think Republicans are going to see just how sad Trump really is. At some point early this year, I I can't remember when exactly I said it, I, I think it's in the first few months of this year, I said that for whatever reason, I think a lot of Republicans are going to jump ship when it comes to Trump. Over the next several months, I think Trump is going to prove that he's mostly bark. He's like a chihuahua. And many Republicans are going to see him as the narcissistic jackass that he is. Trump's schoolyard-style name-calling is going to look as pathetic as it has always been. Same with all of his over-the-top antics. Republicans are going to realize that all of that stuff doesn't really translate to action. There's footage out there of DeSantis using the same type of hand motions as Trump. Whether it's copying him on purpose, DeSantis is a more refined, much smarter version of Trump. He's far more extreme than Trump when it comes to what he actually does and the kind of legislation he actually promotes. I mean, he's far more of a Christian nationalist than Trump, especially considering that Trump doesn't even really seem to be religious, other than pandering to religious people in his speeches. I mean, whenever Trump has been asked about how he feels about religion, he just goes, oh, it's very private. He never really answers it. And I can't in any way see Biden beating DeSantis. But then again, I was wrong about the red wave. Though, you know, to be fair, the message that came from mainstream media and just all over the place was this notion that if Republicans win, we've lost our democracy. It seems that message really worked. I was prepared for the worst, and I am prepared for the worst in 2024. There's a lot that can happen in two years. The Twitter situation by itself, if Twitter survives anyway, might change a lot about popular narratives. If we were able to look two years in the future, we may not even recognize the popular narratives or the political landscapes. If things really turn out like I imagine... By that time, Republicans as a whole will be labeled as fascists. We certainly live in interesting times. Have a joy, joy day!